What's up, everybody? It's your boy Chef from Off the Dome back in with another video. And today we're going to be talking about my man Kirk Cobain. Not Kirk Cobain, but Kirk Cobain. The rapper out of um, Houston, I believe, Texas. And talk about how he fell off and what led to his demise. Um, personally, I don't know much about the guy, but for this episode, I did look up a couple of the songs he tried to release, his mixtapes, and he has a dedicated mixtape series he does. The town of Houston fucks with him somewhat, but the one thing that has always hurt him was the fact that his biggest hit, and his only hit, is the fact that his style of delivery and all that, although he's about the same age as Drake, he basically sounds like a Drake clone. And I know many people have pointed this out, but... That shouldn't have been the main reason why he fell off. You have to remember, over, I would say, over 6% of the current rappers in the rap game today sound like Young Thug. And Young Thug is like an, um, what's it called? Another version of Lil Wayne. So, if Young Thug's another version of Lil Wayne, and you have all these rappers that sound alike, then truly sound like Drake shouldn't be a bad thing because at the time when Kirk Cobain's Drake My Cup hit number one on rap song chart, he actually replaced Drake at number one. The song that was number one was The Motto by um, Drake, Lil Wayne, and the Tiger in the remix. And Kirk Cobain replaced Drake at the number one spot. You have to, have to remember that a lot of people have influences from Tupac, Kanye West, Lil Wayne, and more. So, why is it such a bad thing to sound exactly like another artist? I think Kirk Cobain's case was this. The song Drink My Cup came out. I heard a lot of girls say he's cute. They loved him. They loved his style and all that. But the problem is I think that Drake was too big of an artist on the uprise, if that makes sense. You see, the difference is this. A lot of artists can sound like Young Thug because Young Thug isn't a huge artist. Contrary to popular opinion, this year is probably his best year he's ever had on the Hot 100. And since this is his best and probably the only year where he will reach these heights, he has never been a superstar, never will be. Young Thug has simply been one of the premier rappers from Atlanta to have a new style. He's done things that are relevant to pop culture, dressing it, dressing up as a woman, calling dudes hubby. He's done a lot of suspect things to get attention. So he's an innovator in a way. Well, not innovator, because people in the 80s were doing this. But in this generation, it's something totally different. And his style is different in a way. Take it, Young Thug. He was able to get away with the Lil Wayne copying and whatnot because he was co-signed by Birdman. And plus, Lil Wayne, at the time when Young Thug and all these other rappers became popular, Lil Wayne was on the decline. He's not, you know, irrelevant, but he's not the Lil Wayne he was in 2008 when he was at the peak of his career. This was 2011, 2012 Lil Wayne, where he barely had, he barely had any hits after 2012. 2013, Love Me was the only top 10 hit he had, and that was because Drake and Future were on the hook. So, needs to say, Lil Wayne was on a slow decline. And, you know, he, he has not never reached that level he did in 2008 again, but however, he does have a cult fan base, and obviously, they'll still buy his albums and mixtapes. So, he's not losing, but you know, he's not exactly winning like he used to. You have people like Kanye. He's also been on a decline somewhat, but still sells albums and still goes gold and still has singles. Jay Z, etc. But Drake, he still is the biggest artist. So when you copy the biggest artist possible out right now, you know, the results may vary. And that's exactly what happened to Kirk Cobain. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think Kirk Cobain could have made it in the music industry if he was co signed by Drake or if Drake was on the decline? I think that is true. I think he had the look, he had the style. He had much charisma, he had a decent amount, and he had a solid amount of mixtapes that his fans said he loved. I haven't personally listened to any of them, but people said they really liked those mixtapes. So it seemed like he was doing something right. But after 2012, it seems like his career was just gone. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace out.